Hey guys, this is Phil. Uh, I haven't posted a lot on my channel, but uh, I'm going to start doing that more uh, because I do think I have a lot to say and it would be fun to just post videos again and uh, be more social with you guys. So I got in this morning, had a 15 minute meeting uh, and then I started cubing and then I just started getting so many eights that I was averaging eight. And then I was like, damn, I'm popping off. This is crazy. I need to make a video. And of course, I did it on the RS3v5. This is the UV-coated ball core version. Uh, that's the one that I recommend the most because the performance is really, really good. And uh, in short, I'm totally down to main this cube. Uh, the benefits are so, so many. And the downsides, most of them aren't even related to the cube. I'll talk about that later. So that's basically... How I felt this morning, I was just popping off like a crazy person. And it could be because we're hanging out with like Juliet and other good cubers and I'm just absorbing their like intelligence. But you know, those solves, I did them by myself and they were great and I'm really happy. So uh, here's a video on the cube. So uh, one reason I like the cube is that it's very, very predictable. Uh, the piece to piece contact is really really comfortable and anytime I make a turn or a combination of turns I can always tell what I'm doing and feel what I'm doing and it's really nice. Uh, the cube is also very simple so I never really wanted to adjust anything that I couldn't. You know some people point out oh you can't adjust magnets on a MoU or whatever but I really never felt like I needed to. I didn't even adjust the screws. I just compressed it four times in, put some FC Com and uh, some silicone in it and then uh, Maybe some Mystic, I forgot. I just like put random stuff in here. Um, and it was really good. I have no problems with it at all. It performs well. And when it broke in, it was very, very comfortable and stable. Uh, I do consider this cube very fairly priced at mid-20s. I think it, it's great for what features it gives you. And overall, I just have a very happy experience solving. I get good times, I have a good experience, and I'm happy. That's what... I think most cubers want in uh, the practice anyways. They just want good times, happiness. They want to feel like they're getting better. And I definitely got that experience with this cube. So now let's go to the negatives and talk about why I think the cube is iffy. Uh, basically, the piece splitting issue is the one of the two things that I have a problem with. Uh, when you slam a lot on a stack mat, uh, the pieces do come apart. I don't know why it's especially a problem with this cube. But it is, and uh, I think I'm just going to glue the pieces together because I like the cube so much that I'm willing to put in the time to fix this issue. And uh, the corner cutting, on a side note, can also be a little limited, and I think it affects my M slices the most. So whenever I'm doing Z perms or H perms, uh, sometimes the execution can be a little unreliable, but I also accept that it's partly my bad because I'm not the best at executing those algs, so... It's like partly a cube being kind of limited in corner cutting and partly a skill issue for me. And I don't entirely blame the cube. And I think that's a realistic view on it. Um, I think those are the only bad sides I see in the cube uh, that are actually related to the cube. The other thing is uh, I think the cube robot is just dumb. I think it wastes space. I'm not interested in it. I just want a good cube. And to force users to get a cube robot is a little bit weird because like you know at least it's like a few dollars in the price that you can't really control and uh yeah it feels like you're being force fed that cube robot but honestly for a 25 dollar bong core uv cube i'm not gonna sit here and complain i think that would be rich to complain too much about uh you know being sold the uh cube robot so i'll just say it once um I think still there are too many versions of this cube. Uh, this is a complaint that I uh, lodge almost every time with MoU cubes. It's just overwhelming for consumers, and I do think it makes it harder for people to find what they want. Uh, and part of this video is just to inform you that I think this, this UV ball core one is the one to get. So uh, if you're still here watching the video, uh, definitely try the UV ball core first. I think it's closest to flagship quality and uh, certainly is a very competitive cube. Uh, the last thing is it, this cube makes me kind of scared about Moyu. So remember, if you rewind a few months ago, they released the RS Super V2, and it was almost $50 for a UV ball core version. And there was no explanation why it was 
fifty dollars. Um, I asked Moyu directly, and they just dodged my question. And um, you know, I went to school for dodging questions, so I I know full well when I'm being dodged. And uh, you know, it's, it's not they're not required to answer any of my questions, but it felt kind of weird. And um, unless I get an answer from them, I'm just going to assume that their pricing of the Super V2 was motivated by uh, wanting to just make more money. And, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with a business wanting to make more money, but uh, making money for no reason is kind of weird. And uh, it seems kind of like it's trying to, uh, what's the word, exploit the, um, the users and, uh, you know, the market. Uh, I think they really wanted to go GAN direction and, you know, just upcharge for the sake of upcharging and see what would happen. Uh, I think the Super V2 was not, you know, it was not a successful cube. Uh, not a bad cube, but it's just the pricing was really odd and there was nothing to explain why it was that price. And now when they've released this cube, which is pretty much the same exact tech, it just makes me wonder even more, how did you decide to price a cube at $50? Maybe the innocent explanation is this cube is relatively close to the original Super and therefore less engineering went into making it. But still, like, nothing explains why one cube is $20 more than the other. And it just, like, makes me slightly trust them less because I know deep down inside they've always been capable of releasing a UV ball core cube in the mid-20s price range or even cheaper without the robot being you know, given to you. Um, so, yeah, just like seeing evidence of Moyu doing this does make me feel a little bit doubtful about their business strategy and uh, how they interact with the market. I think uh, pricing that high definitely requires some sort of strategy that I did not see in Moyu's marketing um, or engineering when that happened. So uh, I'm not going to belabor that point too much. Uh, the past is the past, but... Uh, that was just one of the first thoughts in my head. Like, if they could do this, then why did they do that, right? Um, so, at the end of the day, this cube is great. Uh, if you don't have it, I recommend getting it. It's not expensive. It's really simple. And it's really, really predictable in a good way. Uh, whenever I'm holding it, I know more likely than not, I'm going to get a really good time. And it makes me really happy. And that's why I made this video. So, totally meaningless. And if you have any questions... Uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to talk to you and hope you have a good rest of the day. See ya.